What's up YouTube, my name's Kenneth. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to do the spiral pattern. Here's what the spiral pattern looks like. It's a really cool pattern, it's very impressive, and it's also very difficult to do. So I'm gonna to try to make it easy for you guys, and we're gonna to try to make the spiral pattern in three main steps. The first step is we're going to perform the spiral pattern on a three by three, and we're going to apply that to these larger cubes. The second step is we're going to make the spiral on the inner centers of the larger cubes. And the third step is we're going to rotate that spiral so that it uh, lines up with the outer edges and looks awesome. And that's how we're going to make this spiral pattern on these larger cubes. So before we start, we need to first learn each step individually and then we're going to throw them together and we're going to do it together on a large puzzle. So let's start with the first step, which is to perform the spiral pattern on a three by three. So the first step is to solve the three by three directly into the spiral pattern. And there's really two ways to do that. The first way is to use a kind of long and seemingly random algorithm that you would memorize and it would solve it directly into this state. And the second way is to use small conjugates and commutators that are kind of easy to, to memorize uh, because they're kind of intuitive and to kind of solve the, the cube piece by piece and put it in this position. So I'm gonna show you both ways. Uh, I prefer that second way, uh, but I know a lot of people would rather just memorize an algorithm to put, put it right in this uh, position. So let me show you guys what the algorithm is. Um, what you wanna do is hold the puzzle so that the corner you want spiraled is the t up front right corner and then you can do this algorithm. The algorithm is left inverted, back inverted, down, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, down to, right to, down, left, down inverted, left inverted, right inverted, front and up. There we go, spiral pattern. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with commutators and conjugates. Now if you don't know what those are, you definitely check out my cube theory videos. I have two so far, one on commutators and the other on conjugates. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do this now with those two types of moves. And the ones I use are the exact same ones I show in those other videos. So if you've seen that, this shouldn't be too much, too difficult for you guys. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, if you look at what we're trying to accomplish, you can see that this corner is twisted and this corner is twisted. So we're gonna use uh, both a commutator and a conjugate. Uh, so we're going to, a conjugate is just setup move. So we're gonna do a setup move, which is a right two. Now the two corners that need to be twisting are kind of next to each other. And we're gonna first twist this one clockwise, and then we're gonna undo the twist, which will twist this one counterclockwise. So to do that, we would do this. We would put it down here and turn it. And now this is twisted. Now we can do an up inverted to put this one in its place. And now we can undo that twist like this. And now we can undo our up. So now we can undo our setup move. And there we go, we've twisted this corner and we've also twisted this corner. So that's great. So we can see now that we have are on our way and the next thing we wanna kinda do is we wanna cycle these three edges. So to do that, we're going to do the same thing. We we're gonna use a conjugate and a commutator. So first we wanna do a setup move so that we can cycle these three edges. So here's our setup move, which was a front and a right. And now we can see our edges are right here. So now we want to cycle them. And so we can use this uh, commutator I've shown in my other video. And it looks like this. Now we can undo our setup moves. And there we go. We have cycled these three edges. And we can see that this edge right here is flipped, but we can deal with that later. So now let's do this side. So we can do the same setup moves, which is a front and a right. And now we can do uh, the commutator to cycle these three edges. But first we're gonna start with this one down here. And because they need to cycle in the other direction, now we can undo our setup moves. There we go. So we've cycled these three edges and we've cycled these three edges. Now we can see that this one needed flip, flipping because red 
needs to be here and blue needs to be up here. So these need to flip. And this one here needs to flip. Green needs to be on this side with that green and white needs to be on this side with this white. So we can do another algorithm. Uh, so first we'll do this kind of back move so that they're next to each other. And we have this easy algorithm to flip these two edges. So it's just an M inverted up, M inverted up, M inverted up two, then an M up, M up, M up two. And then we can undo the back. So now we're almost there. All we have to do now, as you can see, is we just need to kind of, we're gonna rotate the centers or so, put this yellow center here, this blue center here, and this red center here. And this is another commutator. So it's just this kind of center slice, center slice, undo, undo. And there we go. We have a spiral pattern. So I know that seems like it's a lot harder, but if you kind of know these commutators already, this might be easier for you. So uh, it kind of was for me. Uh, I didn't have to memorize that long algorithm. Obviously this is longer, um, but you don't have, for some of you guys, you won't have to memorize it. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to draw the, the spirals on these large centers of the larger n by n cubes. And this will work all the way down to the four by four. Uh, and this is uh, gonna be the same technique that I showed in my tutorial on how to do the heart pattern. And uh, it's not that difficult. Um, it's very useful because you can draw whatever you like. And here's how you do it. First, you want to uh, bring pieces down. So we wanna draw red on this blue face. So we wanna maybe first start with this top line here. So we can bring all this top line down onto the blue side. Then what you wanna do is you move it over to the right kind of to protect it so it's safe. And then we want to undo this move. We wanna bring these red ones back to the top. And we wanna bring our red ones back to the front face. So that's how we kind of can draw a line. Now we can do the same thing for kind of the vertical lines. So instead we can bring these ones down. So let's bring these ones down and then we can protect them over to the side, right? Like this. So we're gonna move them all over to the right. Then we're gonna move these ones back up and move these ones back over. And so now we've drawn the rest of our line. So now we can continue our spiral. We can maybe draw these red ones here. So it's one, two, three, four. We wanna just do these ones. So it's gonna get tighter and smaller and smaller. So we wanna bring these four down. So always start by bringing them down, move them off to the right to protect them. And then we kinda of undo, put them back up to the top and undo, bring our red ones that we protected back to the front. And now we continue our spiral. So now let's go and do these three ones in a vertical line. So first you wanna bring these three down like that. We wanna protect them. We're gonna move them over to the right like that. We're gonna move these ones back up to the top and we're gonna bring these ones back. We're gonna undo them. And there we go. We're making a spiral, we're almost there. So now we wanna do these two, so we're gonna bring them down. So always start, bring them down, move them over to protect them. Move it back up to the top, move it back over to our front. And finally, we wanna bring this one. So it's a single piece, this is kinda of like the four by four. Uh, if you're only doing a four by four, you just need that one piece. So we wanna bring this piece down. This red one here, we wanna bring it down. We wanna protect it to the side. We wanna undo bringing it down so we put it back up and put it back this direction. So that will draw our spiral and it puts a spiral on every side. That's pretty useful. So for the third step, we need to learn how to twist our centers. I'm gonna show you guys how to twist centers on a three by three. And uh, it's not too difficult, but if you don't know how to do it, uh, it's definitely worth learning because then you can solve all sorts of puzzles. You can learn how to solve uh, picture cubes uh, and any kind of super cube. And so these are kind of super cube moves and uh, they're very useful, so I recommend learning them. And here's how you do them. Uh, there's two that you kind of need to know. The first one will rotate two centers and they will rotate in the opposite direction. So if this one needs to turn counterclockwise, this one will turn clockwise. 
The other one we're going to show, I'm going to show you, will only turn a single center, but it only turns that center 180 degrees. So let's start with this one, and you can see that this one needs to turn counterclockwise, and this one needs to turn clockwise. You want to hold it like this so that the one is on the left and the other is on the up face, and we're going to do the center slice kind of down like that. We're going to put this center slice across this way, and then we're going to put this center slice up. Now we can turn this up face either clockwise or counterclockwise. And since we want to turn this piece counterclockwise, we can turn it counterclockwise. And now we can undo all these moves. So we can do undo this move, uh, undo this move, undo that move. And then we can uh, do a clockwise turn like that. And that twisted this piece clockwise and this one counterclockwise. It's a very useful uh, algorithm to do and you can do it the other way you can turn it counterclockwise if you need to so now we're going to learn how to turn this piece 180 degrees and the way you do that is uh, you first do an up then you do a right and a left then we do an up two and then a right inverted left inverted and now you repeat that so we do an up then we do a right and a left we do an up two then we do a right inverted and a left inverted and that twists the centerpiece. It's a very easy algorithm. I recommend learning it uh, because it's so useful all over the place. So anyway, that's the third step. Now what we have to do is we have to combine all three of these steps to make our spiral pattern. So let's do it on the eight by eight. So now we're gonna combine our three skills we just learned to do the spiral pattern on this eight by eight. So the first kind of step was to apply the three by three spiral pattern to this puzzle and you can either use the algorithm or you can use the commutators and conjugates. I think I'll just use the algorithm for sake of time, but normally I would use uh, the commutators and conjugates. So here we go. First, it's a left inverted, back inverted, down, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, down to, right to, down, left, down inverted, left inverted, right inverted, front and up. Huh, there we go. We have kind of the spiral pattern, three by three version of the spiral pattern. And now we can proceed to the second step, which is to draw the uh, spirals on the center pieces. So let's go ahead and start that. And we'll hold it like this so that uh, the three kind of uh, colors that are the same are uh, up, front, and left. So we want to draw this yellow spiral. So we want to bring yellow in right here. So we want to do it all the way, but we don't want this one here. So we just want these five. So let's bring those five down. Then we're going to bring them off and protect them to the right. And we're going to undo, bring them up to the top, and undo that, bring it back over. So we got our first kind of line in our spiral. Now we want to do these four here. So we want to bring those down, move them to the side to protect them. So just those four. And we want to bring this one back up, undo that, and undo these ones over to the side. Now we want to do these ones. So we one, two, three, we want to bring these three down. One, two, three. We want to move them over to the side to protect them. Undo that, bring it back to the top. And undo this, bring it back over. And we're almost done with our spiral. Now we need to do these two. We want to bring these two down. We want to move them over to the side to protect them. Undo this, bring it back up to the top, and undo these two back over to the left. And finally, we have this single piece here, so we want to bring that down. Protect it over to the side, bring that one back up, and bring these ones back over. So you can see we have the spiral perfect on this side, but we're not done yet because we have to now twist our centers so that they can continue the spiral pattern. So you can see 
uh, that the one over here needs to go clockwise, this one needs to go counterclockwise, then this one on the back needs to go 180 degrees, and the one on the right needs to go clockwise, and the one on the bottom needs to go counterclockwise. So basically what I do is I find the two that need to go, one that goes clockwise and one that goes counterclockwise next to each other, so these two, and we're gonna use our algorithm to turn one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. So first we bring this one down, we bring this one over, and we bring this one up. And I think we need to go clockwise, so we're gonna turn it clockwise. And we're gonna bring it back down, bring this one back, so we're undoing our moves here. I can't get it back, there we go. We're gonna bring this one back up, and we're gonna undo, so it's a counterclockwise. Yeah, there we go. So now we have spirals on these three colors. So we need to go back to the other three, and we can see this one needed to do a 180 degree turn. This one needs to go clockwise, and this one needs to go, I'm sorry, this one needs to do a 180 degree turn. This one needs to go counterclockwise, and this one needs to go clockwise. So let's use do these two next. This one needs to go counterclockwise. This one needs to go clockwise. So we can bring this one down, this one over, and move it up. And now we have to turn it the direction it needed to go, which was counterclockwise. We can put this one back down, move it back over, move this one up, and turn it clockwise. Okay, so now we have spirals on every side, except for this one, which we have to turn 180 degrees. So to do that, we do the algorithm, we put it on top, and we do the algorithm with an up, and we do right and a left, and then we do up to, right inverted, left inverted, and then we repeat that. So we do an up, right, left, up to, right inverted, left inverted, and there we go. We have a spiral now on every side. So that's how you do the spiral pattern. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. Uh, I know it's a difficult pattern to do, so if it screwed up your puzzle, um, I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. It's your fault, you screwed up. <laughs> so I really wanna thank David Gilday for showing me how to do this pattern. Um, he kinda of came up with the pattern himself, uh, and then I did it about a million times and I kind of figured out a faster way to do it and that's the way I showed you guys today. So anyway, thanks to David for showing me how to do this pattern. I think it's an awesome pattern. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you were able to do it. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And of course, have a great day.